This week on State Champs, we make our way around the mitten for state finals action in track and field and girls tennis. Plus, we get an additional serving of championship action from the Upper Peninsula. Summer's all about fun, right? Well, some teams in Pontiac are committed to bringing it back. So let's get fired up because... State Champs starts now. Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Sarah Chevrolet, the low payment people. Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Diversified Members Credit Union. Proud to support Michigan youth sports because we believe in you. And Sneth Camp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Come visit Telegraph Road's newest Dodge and Ram truck dealer serving Detroit. Welcome to State Champs. We are presented by Lawrence Tech. I'm Lauren Plant. I'll tell you what, we've got another huge state championship show this week. Tons of hardware has been handed out, and we are here to show you who took it home. Yeah, guys, I'm Kier Hay, and this is our final week of voting in our total softball player of the year race. We have an update, plus Daniela Bruce goes in focus on some high school students making a real difference in the community. Now it's not all state finals we have for you this week. Several sports still in the playoff portion of their postseasons, and we've got a taste in this week's roundup. We begin with the Division III softball district opener. The two-time defending state champs, number one, Monroe St. Mary Catholic Central, on the road to take on eighth-ranked Dundee. It was 2-0 SMCC in the bottom of the third, looking for more. Kenna Garst takes it the opposite way. Kelsey Barron will score from first. Kestrel's up three. Our total softball player of the year candidate, Megan Bobie, and on the bump for St. Mary Catholic Central, the Michigan commit dominated. She no-hit the Vikings with nine Ks in five innings of work. Kestrel's firing on all cylinders in the fifth. Brooke Angerer the poke. Brooke Barton will cross the dish. The fifth would turn into a six run at bat. Garst delivers, Barron scores. Monroe St. Mary Catholic Central takes it by a 10-0 final. On Saturday, they captured another district championship. We go to girls lacrosse and a D2 regional is Farmington Hills Mercy on the road to take on Farmington United. Both teams unranked. Mercy gunning for three straight regional titles. Beat Farmington 11-7 earlier in the season. Taylor McKenzie feeds to Evie Drucker, who finishes. Marlins out to a quick 4-0 lead. Back comes Farmington U later in the half. Gabby Mitchell gets it to Emmy Melter. She finds the back of the net. United down 5-4 at the break. But Mercy unfazed. Annalise Schneeman goes in for the goal. Farmington Hills Mercy wins 13-8. Marlins will now play third-ranked East Grand Rapids on Wednesday night in the D2 semi. First time ever boys lacrosse holding state quarterfinals. This was a D2 matchup between third ranked Cranbrook and unranked Pontiac Notre Dame Prep. Prep had this one at home. The Iris fresh off knocking off six ranked Orchard Lake St. Mary's. 1-1 game early. Notre Dame's Ryan Goodord passing to Daniel Caton. He spots a wide open Max Stowe for the goal. He had three in the contest. But the 2015 state champs Cranbrook controlled the majority of the action. Late in the second quarter, junior midi Grant Coleman getting it done. The bounce up and over the keep. Coleman had six in the game, 7-3 Cranes at the half. Third quarter now, Cranes again on the attack. Jacob Cook picks up the loose ball in front. Deke, Deke, goal. The junior with eight tallies to his credit. Cranbrook wins it 14-6. They take on number one East Grand Rapids in the D2 State Semifinals Wednesday. We send it now to Jerry Mack. Thanks, Lauren. District finals happening this week. The Warren Cousino Patriots taking on your defending D1 champions, the pilots of Warren De La Salle. We pick things up in the fourth inning. Game scoreless. Bases loaded for Hunter Broski. The junior shoots one opposite field. Now check out the diving catch and left. Full extension. Great play, but Ben Heinemann able to tag up from third. Pilots draw first blood. Top half of the sixth. Cousineau with a man on. 
If we show them they scored them, that's Michael Rice who roped this one all the way to the corner. Evan Guganaki trucking around third beats the relay home. Patriots trailed 2-1. But in the bottom half of the inning, the Pilots would put together a nine-run rally, ending this one a bit early as De La Salle rolls to another district title by a final over Warren Cousineau of 11-1. Next up, we check in at the Greater Midland Tennis Center for Division I coverage of the MHSAA Lower Peninsula Girls Tennis Finals. In four doubles, it was Maggie Schaller and Rima Patel of Midland Dow taking on Lauren Ruby and Caleb Bernard of Bloomfield Hills. Ruby with the nice cutoff there, but it would be the Dow duo winning in two sets, 6-4 and 7-6, as Schaller finds the open court here for the finish. Midland Dow also represented in two doubles by Mina Fabiano and Tatum Matthews. Matthews striking the corner with the strong backhand down the line, but in the end it was the Northville team of Nia Chava and Maya Malchandani winning in two sets, 7-5 and 6-1. At one doubles, it was Bloomfield Hills' Alexa Bernard and Maddie Fox taking on Lauren Somerville and Audrey Doherty of Gross Point South. Doherty with the winner as the Blue Devils would draw even in the second set, but Bloomfield Hills would take the third set 7-5, helping the Blackhawks to a third place team finish. Northville's Tori Maddie took home the four singles title, knocking off Rockford's Elena Bowman in three sets 6-1, 2-6, and 6-1. And the one singles title was claimed by Ann Arbor Pioneers' Kari Miller, who beat Tia Mukherjee of Bloomfield Hills in straight sets 6-1 and 6-love. But it all came down to the three singles match between Renee Torres of Northville and Hadley Camp of Midland Dow. After dropping the first set 6-1, Torres would rally back to take the next two 6-1 and 6-3, giving Northville the team points they needed for a share of the title as both the Northville Mustangs and the Chargers of Midland Dow would be crowned your 2017 Division I Lower Peninsula Girls Tennis State Champions. For State Champs, I'm Jerry Mack. Let's take a look at your final results in Divisions 2 through 4. Sierra Chevrolet is proud to recognize the hardworking people in the communities they serve with the Sierra Chevrolet Community Awards. June Student of the Month was given to Jordan Haywood. Jordan is a sophomore at Southfield High School and currently has a GPA of 3.2. She's a very conscientious student who is always willing to assist teachers and classmates. Jordan is also a part of the organization GEMS, which is a mentoring program that focuses on personal development and leadership skills. It means girls empowerment to maintain success. We mentor kids, but we have someone that mentors us also. And we do community services and field trips and other things like that. Jordan plans on attending Eastern Michigan University, and she's interested in studying dentistry. Sarah Chevrolet is proud to recognize her as Student of the Month. On behalf of Sarah Chevrolet, I'd like to congratulate Jordan Haywood on being a Student of the Month. Congratulations. Thank you. What's up guys, I'm Daniela Bruce, and coming up, I've got a story that's all about the power of play. That's coming up next, right here on State Champs. Attention high school football players who wanna to get to the next level. Get to one of two football camps being held at Lawrence Technological University. Oakland County's only NAIA program kicks off fall 2018. Head coach Jeff Duvendeck wants to see if you've got what it takes to be a Blue Devil. The Big Man Camp runs Saturday, June 17th. The Skills Camp, Sunday, June 18th. Skills, drills, 7v7, all included for just 25 bucks. No excuses. Sign up now at ltuathletics.com. At Diversified Members Credit Union, we serve the entire state of Michigan. With over 30,000 fee-free ATMs, we're with you wherever you go. To buy that new car, to take that dream vacation, to build that living room you've always wanted. Find out why so many people are choosing to own their own money by switching to a credit union. Apply today and become a member of the official credit union of the Detroit Lions. Visit us or click on dmcu.com. So what am I looking at? How do we get people to order Hungry Howie's online? Hangupthatphone.com. Hangupthatphone.com. No, it should be. Hangupthatphone.com. Stop saying the Hangupthatphone.com. Okay, people don't have to hang up that phone. Dot com. They just need to. Hangupthatphone.com. Hangupthatphone.com. They just need to download that app. <gasps> Dot com. Hey, get a meal deal for any size budget. For a small one topping pizza for only 99 cents when you use promo code SMALL99. Hungry Howie's.
Welcome back. A group of Pontiac students and volunteers are showing how easy it can be to make a difference in their community. Here's a look at one of their many projects. Let's go in focus. High school and college students from the Pontiac area have been coming together to make a difference. The Leaders of the Future organization has some big goals in mind. It's all about taking high school and college students and rebuilding inner cities. Rebuilding inner cities by providing parks and getting students more involved. This is one unique example. Last year I met Jonathan Warak of Reroute Pontiac at Oakland University. He told me that he had 60 lots in the city of Pontiac and that he wanted to turn them into orchards, environmental education spaces. He also told me that he needed volunteers. So we combined our workforce of 30 high school students from the city of Pontiac. It turned into an amazing partnership that this year has spawned an orchard. This project specifically, we have seven lots here in the main area of the orchard and four more lots that we have some of your more common fruit trees. Orchards that were planted on previously vacant lots in Pontiac. These lots were cleared by volunteers who then planted a variety of fruits and other foods for the community. This is gonna be fully open to the community. The community can come and take the produce as they see fit. But providing this orchard is just a taste of what the Future Leaders Group does and only a part of what it stands for. We really bring nature back into people's lives and develop interest in a lot of science and technology. Anyone interested is highly encouraged to get involved. Contact us at www.lfpontiac.org. It's all about community around here. Every single person adds that much more to what we're doing in the space. For In Focus, I'm Daniela Bruce. Everyone has to budget how much money they can spend based on how much money they make. Answer these questions. Where does your money come from? Where has it gone? Start by tracking all of your expenses for one month by writing it down or using a phone or tablet to record purchases, especially when using cash to buy things. Use your online checking account for a complete record of all debit card and checkbook transactions. Determine how much money went toward food, phones, transportation, clothes, or entertainment, and what was the total. If it is more than the money you currently make in the same month from your part-time job or get from your parents, then you need to cut back on your purchases. Pick the non-essential ones like that extra pizza after school or that new video game. However, if you have excess money each month, you can decide to spend more or save up for larger goals like a new phone or car or college. All budgets are different and can be adjusted as your income increases or decreases. Diversified Members Credit Union can provide online checking, debit cards, savings accounts, college loans, and car loans when you are ready. Visit dmcu.com to sign up online. Diversified Members Credit Union. We believe in you. Who's going to win the coveted Total Softball Player of the Year? Well, Tom and Donnie will talk about it next. Plus, we go to the UP for state finals action in boys and girls tennis and girls golf. So don't go anywhere. Sports give so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's, Dough Razor. Your team or school can sell paper pizza certificates that can be redeemed for one medium pizza at participating locations. Hungry Howie's makes it easy. It's just a little mini pizza box, but we make lots of money, lots of dough. Go to DoughRazor.com to learn more and sign up. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. At Diversified Members Credit Union, we serve the entire state of Michigan. With over 30,000 fee-free ATMs, we're with you wherever you go to buy that new car, 
to take that dream vacation, to build that living room you've always wanted. Find out why so many people are choosing to own their own money by switching to a credit union. Apply today and become a member of the official credit union of the Detroit Lions. Visit us or click on dmcu.com. Certified service means more than taking care of cars. It means taking care of customers. And that's our focus at Sarah Chevrolet in Southfield. Our technicians maintain your vehicle with the same parts used to build it. And our convenient location, extended service hours, and online scheduling make it easy for you to get in and out fast. You can count on Sarah Chevrolet for competitive pricing and a job well done. A full synthetic oil change, tire rotation, and multi-point inspection is only $49.95. Sarah Chevrolet of Southfield, service that stays one step ahead. Hi, I'm Tom Markowski with another edition of Total Softball Player of the Year Award. In studio with us again this week is Donnie Dreyer. Donnie, here's where we're at right now. We're going to announce our final four next week. Paige Blevins of Clarkston is the leader for our online vote, and should she win that, she would be automatically in our final four. Remember, the voting ends June 7th. Donnie, who are some of the other top candidates? Well, based on performance all year long, you would have to say that Megan Bobian from Marone St. Mary's and Kendall Dunford from Dakota have got to be leaders. If that comes to fruition, that still leaves one spot open, Tom. Yeah, and I like two candidates in my end of that to fill that four spot, Jenny Bressler of Plymouth and Maya Kiff Miller of Midland. Yeah, I would say along with them, I would be looking at Veronica Pizzoni from Howell and Emily Koperdak from Matawan. They all have great years. Uh, here's a shout out to two players across the state who have tied the single season record of 20 home runs before the start of the state tournament. That would be Taylor Dew of Muskegon Mona Shores and Brooke Nadolny of Lance Cruz. Again, next week we have the final four. See you then. I'm Sam Ali and let's go to the UP State Finals in Division I Tennis. Let's start with the number one singles, Nagani's Eric Hurst on the near side, Marquette's Alec Olivier on the far side. Hurst's backhand forces Olivier to make a tough play and the ball goes into the net as Hurst picks up the point. But Olivier would get into a groove later on as he wins the match 6-2, 6-0 and get this, Olivier is a sophomore and he has yet to lose a match in his career at Marquette. Number two singles saw Menominee's Jake Englehart take on Nagani's Luke Skews. The win carried that ball out of bounds as Englehart gets the point. In the end though, Skews would win it for the Miners and he does it in two sets, 6-3, 6-2. And in the number two doubles on the near side, it's Marquette's Adam Skenzel and Mitch Cannon. And on the far side, it's Nagani's Jackson Sager and Drew Lindbergh. Sager and Lindbergh would go on to win it in two sets, 6-3, 6-1. And for the second straight season, Nagani wins the Division I boys tennis title, their sixth championship in the past eight years. Let's check out the Division I golf finals now, and that's what it's all about right there. On the girls' side, here's Marquette's Ellie Hicks on the par four fourth hole. Nice chip to get out of trouble as she got par on the hole and finished in third place overall. This is Houghton's Karen Liston on the same hole for par and the long putt falls just a few inches short. She would settle for bogey and take second on the day. But all eyes were on Escanaba's Paxton Johnson as she finishes two strokes ahead of Liston to finish with the day's top score as the Lady Eskimos win the D1 title. Speaking of top scores, on the boys' side, Houghton's Ben Strong put on a strong performance for the Gremlins. This shot so close to a birdie, but he settles for par, and he is your D1 medalist for the boys. Here's Nagani's Carter Mason with his second shot on the par 4 sixth hole, as Mason would take a birdie and finishes in eighth place. But Escanaba was determined to sweep the top honors, and Johnny Kazitsky did his part he finished tied for fourth as the Eskimos win the D1 tennis title. For state champs, I'm Sam Ali. Time now to take a look inside Lawrence Technological University. 
It's no surprise that LTU offers degree programs that give students a strong set of skills to use in their chosen field. A Bachelor of Science in Audio Engineering Technology gives you the hands-on experience of working in recording studios and electronic labs. When the students come into our department and they ask about audio or audio program, I go through and first of all tell them that we have a studio that the students can actually work in and I have them usually talk to Chris who operates this studio and that kind of warms up the students and the parents so they know what the program is like and what the students get into. At Lawrence Tech what we've done in developing the program to set it apart from other programs is not only developing a strong theoretical level of the program where students are connected to the fundamental principles of recording as well as the technical aspects and beyond that taking them into a situation where they're forced to be in real studio environments, real recording environments, and not just a classroom where they learn about this in a book. A degree in audio engineering technology gives you the skills you need to succeed in this competitive and evolving field. You'll gain a solid foundation in the fundamentals of electronics, music theory, and sound technology. If you're interested in learning more about LTU's programs, head over to ltu.edu right now. We make our way to the west side of the state for our main event this week. It's the Boys and Girls Track and Field State Finals. What records were broken this year? Stay with us. The recruiting of high school game officials never stops, especially for women. Only 11% of high school officials are women. I was fortunate to play high school sports where so many men and women gave their time as officials. Now it's my turn. Joining a local officials association is the key to getting training, getting games, and getting the support I needed to make officiating fun and enjoyable. I can stay involved with the sports I love, I enjoy working with the kids, and I even met my husband through officiating. There's help wanted, just whistle. Snap Camp is Metro Detroit's original Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram dealer, and we're still making the best deals every day. During the Drive and Discover event, lease a Ram Crew Cab 4x4 as low as $189 a month, or a 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee for just $249. Sales service and a superior buying experience. That's Snap Camp on Telegraph Road in Redford. Snap Camp, Metro Detroit's original. Snap Camp, Snap Camp. I want to be a dermatologist, and though a lot of universities tried to recruit me for basketball, Lawrence Tech had the science curriculum that I wanted. LTU's Southfield campus is a great place to learn, and the classes are small enough that I don't have to wait for office hours to talk to my professors. They're usually right by my side, challenging me and guiding me toward a successful future. Lawrence Tech. Possible is everything. Welcome back to State Champs. Hey, we wrap our highlights this week with our main event, the Boys and Girls Track and Field State Championships. We start our four division mad dash of coverage with Division One at East Kentwood. Let's begin with the ladies. DAC Female Athlete of the Year finalist Taylor Mansing of East Lansing in the 400 dash. The Florida Commit graduates a state champ. 300 hurdles and how about Wyandotte Roosevelt's Kiana Evans, third fastest time in state history, fastest time ever in Division I at 42-64. Oak Park came in the three-time defending state champs. Lady Knights won two relays but finished runners-up because Ann Arbor Pioneer is a tradition unlike any other. The 4x800 relay team, one of the best anywhere, they win. The defending 100 hurdles champ, Junior Britton Bowen, sets a new MHSAA finals meet and D1 record with a time of 1340. The junior Ann Forsythe paired her 4x800 medal with her first state title in the mile. Pioneers win their 17th girls track title. Nice job, ladies. To the fellas, we start in the hurdles. East Lansing senior Kentray Patterson was the man. The defending 110 champ and wide receiver wins both the 110 and 300 hurdles. 
Rockford took second a year ago and senior Cole Johnson tripped and still took third in the mile in 2016. Oak Park's Cameron Cooper had the fastest time by more than a second, but Johnson wins at state as the team, though, ran second again. Speaking of Cameron Cooper, flat out one of the fastest in the 800 in the nation. Johnson not going to beat him here. The Louisiana State commit wins back-to-back -back titles. The Knights finish third because 2017, taken by another one of the best programs of the last decade, East Kentwood. Senior Kance Myers wins both the 100 and 200 dash and helps the 4x200 relay team to a new Division I record. East Kentwood wins their sixth state crown since 2008. To Division II now at Zeeland High School. Let's get to some action in the relays. And Wyoming Godwin Heights showed up. They win both the 4x200 and 4x100 relay. Another one of the DAC Athlete of the Year finalists, Corona's Noah Jacobs. Here's why. The reigning Mr. Cross Country wins both the mile and the two mile. Amazing. He'll run at Wisconsin. The reigning champ in the 110 hurdles, Lake Odessa Lakewood senior Noah Cotty. He wins again. He took the 300 as well, heading to Michigan. Zeeland East finished second last year, third two years ago. With help from Jonathan Groendyke, he won the 800 and helped in the 4x400 relay win. Zeeland East is now team state champion. To the girls and lots of dual wins. Carlton Airport's Zoe Ebby was expected to rock and she did. She won the 100 and the 200 dash. From sprinter queen to distance queen, Holland Christian Jr. Kayla Windemuller, the defending champ in both the mile and the two mile, she did it again. Two more state titles, outstanding. But the team defending state champs also did it again. Lansing Waverly, they win both the 4x100 relay and the 4x200 relay. Waverly got some good field event help too and win the D2 state title. MHSAA.TV coverage of the D3 finals at Comstock Park for the boys, 4x200 relay. The junior Sam Forrest side pulling away, Indians capture the D3 boys crown. To the ladies, Adrian Madison taking the crown. Led by Megan Rosales, she took the 400 dash, 300 hurdles, anchored the 4x400 relay. Madison set a new D3 record in that event. In D4 at Hausman Field, the fellas, Whitmore Prescott didn't win any events, but junior Braden Lomason took second in the 1600 and had enough points to capture the D4 title. To the ladies, the junior Chica Ameni from Southfield Christian would have herself a day 100, 200, and 400 400 meter dash titles, Eagles take the D4 title. Congratulations to all the winners. So that's it for this week. We've got two more state championship weekends before we officially put a bow on the 2016-2017 school year. And this year, we're not taking the summer off. Instead, we're getting you ready for the football season with a whole host of shows that'll keep you coming back every week. No doubt about it. We update our legend shows and we've got some great new programming. Kira is heading up our investigative look into concussions and what we're doing to increase awareness and treatment. Plus, the sports team is putting together a look at the top 25 high school running backs of the last 25 years. That for sure is going to draw up some strong opinions. Our summer series will begin Sunday, July 16th. But for now, we'll see you next week right here on State Champs. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Sarah Chevrolet, the low payment people. Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Diversified Members Credit Union. Proud to support Michigan youth sports because we believe in you. And Snap Camp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Come visit Telegraph Road's newest Dodge and Ram truck dealer serving Detroit.